It's often said that if you do not learn from history, you're doomed to repeat history. Or, in some cases, become history. The point being that if you do something and it doesn't work, and you try it again and it continues to fail, eventually you would learn your lesson that sir, this certain thing is not worth the aggravation of doing. You'd think that would be the case with some networks and their programming choices. Well, sad to say, there's still a lot of idiots out there in charge of programming. As I found out today when reading Buzzer Blog about the GSN lineup changes scheduled for April and beyond. Now, most of it was ho-hum. Uh, they're going to put password back on the air. Password Plus and Super Password, $25,000 Pyramid returns and takes the $100,000 Pyramid's place. And they also announced a few other shows in development, but what strikes my eye? Well, there are a couple things that strike my eye. One of them is that GSN apparently will not learn that they are not the network for reality shows. As it was announced, not only are they getting back into the reality show business, but they're diving headfirst into a whole slew of reality shows. Five, to be exact. And it really, it, it baffles me, they would even try one, much less five. Now here are the five that they're planning on doing it. One's called Pure Gold, about gold buyers in New York. Or somewhere. The family trade about car salespeople. I do, now I don't, about a company that buys and sells used engagement rings. Crowning glory about bizarre pageants around the country, and War of the Rose Sisters, about two auctioneers. Michael Douglas will not be involved in this project, thankfully. So, there's the lineup of stuff, and if you haven't noticed, it doesn't sound like any of these really have a game. Last time I, I checked the initials GSN, the G stood for game. So, why again are you doing this? Did you learn nothing from Carney Wilson? Or American Dream Derby? Or Chuck Woolery Naturally Stone, which is also what you would have to be to watch the show? None of those worked, bottom line. So, why are you getting so headfirst into this? Why are you developing so many reality shows? The, the Bible game thing that you're doing, the, the pilot of, with uh, Jeff Foxworthy, sounded like it was going to be bad, but at least it's a game. I'll give it that much. This, this lineup just sounds like total BS, and... And my fear is that they they developed these five shows so they could specifically group them together with the block scheduling they like. Because, you know, Monday is Feud, Wednesday is going to be Steve Harvey Feud next week, Newlywed, all that other stuff. I fear, now, because $100,000 Pyramid's going, 25 will take its place on Friday for the time being starting April 2nd. So that's what's going to happen with that for now, but I fear that they'll eventually remove Pyramid from that block and give these reality things the Friday block, which means that basically Friday and Saturday nights are must-avoid TV. I don't get it. Ha! You... This just goes back... I said this in a previous video on this channel, I believe, that... You you keep this leadership, or lack thereof, in charge of the network, and they continue to make the same mistakes over and over and over again. The company should know that the, the leadership is not getting the job done. The reality shows do not work on the network, 
why develop five? Why don't you develop something that could attract a better audience than that? Because you know that most of the real hardcore fans are going to reject it. Just like they rejected Dancing with the Stars, which is another issue altogether. You, It really just doesn't make any sense. And I don't think any of these shows have appealing concepts anyway. Why the hell would I want to watch someone buy and sell engagement rings? I'm not getting married. And, and gold buying. I mean... It's one thing when Discovery Channel has a show, Gold Rush, that is wildly popular. I don't know why. I haven't seen the show, so I can't really tell you why. Whenever I hear about it, I think, what is this, 1850? But that's another debate altogether. It's one thing to have that. To have, to go, if I want to watch someone buying gold in a pawn shop or something, I'll turn on Pawn Stars or Hardcore Pawn to get my fix, and I don't like those shows. For a different reason, I'm not going to even talk about it. Uh, mm. Or, uh, War of the Rose Sisters. Really. If I, if I want to have an auction, I, if I want to bid on something, I'll watch The Price is Right. I don't need to see this on, on my game show network. Ugh. But there was another thing, too, that was really interesting about their press release. They now have their shows in tiers, which is... which you'd think would be good, but listen to some of these uh, descriptions of how they're going to group their shows. There's three groups. There's one called Iconic Game Reinvented, which basically says all you need to know. They're going to probably going to revive a lot of shows. There's a rumor there's, they're going to revive Pyramid in a $100,000 form. Don't know if that would work on the network or not. We'll have to see. Real-life game shows, which is where this collection of five mediocre shows would go. And then there's a third one called, and I quote, Shiny Floor Games. According to GSN, they are in-studio game formats featuring new concepts whose overall look, feel, and sound design will be innovative and a departure from those typically associated with TV game shows. Who the hell came up with that description? Shiny floor games? Doesn't doesn't that sound like it's a commercial for 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 a waxer for floor wax or something? Oi, look at this shiny floor game we're playing. And the uh, concepts will be a departure from those typically associated with TV game shows. <coughs> <coughs> so in other words, it's not really going to be a game show. The thing that you specialize in the most, right? Developing shows that are not game shows. Oh, boy. You really, it really baffles me how David Goldhill, Amy Davis, and the rest of this group have not been fired already. I'm not going to be one of those people who says, Oh, I don't care anymore about the network. Because if I didn't care, I wouldn't do this video. I don't want to see the channel go under. And it, and it speaks to the problem at the top with the majority owner, Sony. Now, I've ran it on Sony in the past. I don't like them because of what they did to my Downs A530 channel. But that's another issue entirely. The Sony does not know how to run a network. They, they are, they've they already pretty much, they've sealed SoapNet's doom, and I don't like soap operas anyway, but they sealed its doom because they didn't know how to program there. And now they're basically sealing GSN's fate for the future with all this stuff that they're allowing to happen under their watch. Sony, for a big corporation, a conglomerate, makes a boatload of mistakes. Uh, just look at the stuff they did with PlayStation 3. Price it so badly that you had to sell half your body to get it. That kind of stuff. So it really is no surprise that a company whose only aim, and obviously companies only aim to earn more money, but who don't who care so little about their products, have such a distance from it. 
will would do something like this. I mean, look at what they've done with Wheel of Fortune. That's my that was my that's my favorite game show, and they've ruined it beyond repair, basically by letting some of the stupidest people in the world try out for it. So you basically get what you the leadership you get at the top trickles down and it's the end result is the current abomination that you see on your screens I personally do not plan to watch any of these five reality shows I think reality TV sucks I think that it's a waste of time it isn't real you still have it edited and processed by people in a studio who know how to create the images they want you to see and it's not entertaining. I do not enjoy watching stupidity. If I want, I don't like the Snookies and the Kardashians of the world. Let's just put it this way. Like John Hamm said, they, they basically, America glorifies stupidity. They do. But I'm not going to glorify stupidity. I'm not watching any of these five reality shows. And I'm really, I'm really got to wonder if I'll be watching the network much longer with all this stuff. Just my two cents on it. Take it for what it's worth. What do you think? Do you think that these five reality shows have a chance on GSN? Uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.